trust it, kind of lean into it a little bit, and um, should work good. Okay. So, dirt jumping. I picked up this bike a long time ago. It was one that my son rode quite a bit when he was little. And I've always wanted to turn it into a dirt jumper. In college, I built up a, an old thrifted BMX bike, along with a few of my friends doing the same thing, to do some dirt jumping in a, a vacant lot next door to one of my friend's houses. We really didn't do much, and the jumps were nothing big. So, lately, I've been messaging back and forth with Eric Porter. He's a pro mountain biker that lives just outside of Park City, Utah, not too far away from where I live. And he's also been uh, YouTubing lately, and he has a, a new growing channel with some awesome content. I'll put a link to his channel in my description below. But he has this awesome dirt jump park in his backyard. And uh, so we decided this would be a good opportunity to, um, to kind of get together and test out my dirt cheap dirt jumper build. So that's what we're going to do. After I'm done with this tear down and then the rebuild, we're going to take it out to Eric's backyard and just see how it does.
I've been pushing away everybody I love. How's it rolling, Owen? Good. I don't know what to do. I'm a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows. Who knows how to do it. I think it looks awesome. So I spent a lot of time uh, growing up building dirt jumpers like this. So we'd take whatever we had and yeah. build it up into a dirt jumper or even change my cross country bike into a dirt jumper. And so this is, you know, exactly what I did a yeah. lot. And it looks good, especially with the budget concerns of trying to keep it as cheap as possible. Um, it looks great. You know, I guess the brake might not be working because we got it for 20 bucks. Probably. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Guess what happened? Lost the chain? Yeah. So, yeah, it just comes off too easy with those ramped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's too, too easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Too cheap. Chain tensioner. So that's, uh, well you have one of those, right? Yep. Yeah, I'll put it on. We'll that make solves it right. that problem and uh, we'll see if I have a bleed kit for that brake. And so I tuned this shovel up for a video for my channel and yeah, sharpen the edge and I clean it up every night and oil it after I use it and it's just still working awesome. And anyway, so I made that video and you commented on it and I was looking through it and I'm like, old shovel? I'm like, I need to find out what this channel's all about. And uh, <laughs> turns out you're way into bikes and everything too, so it's been really cool. And you're in Utah, so um, yeah, when you're building a dirt jump bike, um, invited you over here and it's the best place to come test it, you know? Yeah, find out everything that's wrong. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, compare it to, you know, see what the, the difference between a dirt jump bike you literally can't buy versus one that you can make in your garage. And um, they're both fun, turns out, you know, you can, one just, you know, it's like a car. Like, a cheap car is just as much fun as a nice car. You just have to work on it a little more. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it looks like the chain came off again. Chain, uh, yeah. <laughs> chain came off again. Yep. Won't you say, say, say.